I'm Paul Perkins with the check of your ag weather. High pressure builds south from the Dakotas for a reinforcing shot of cooler air. Our daytime highs through the weekend stay 5 to 10 degrees cooler than normal in the upper 60s to the mid-70s. Overnight lows as cool as the mid to upper 40s expected for both tonight and tomorrow night. Mostly dry weather continues through tomorrow night. The remnants of thunderstorms may make it as far east as northwest Kansas late tomorrow night. Wednesday, there may be a bit of a southerly breeze with gusts to 20, just ahead of strengthening low pressure over the western plains. A few thunderstorms are possible over western and southern areas late Wednesday through Wednesday night and over all western and central areas Thursday through Thursday night. Right now, the best thunderstorm chances are Friday through Friday night, possibly lingering into Saturday and Saturday night. The forecast turning dry by Sunday. For the long-term forecast, slightly warmer than normal temperatures are predicted for Nebraska and seasonal temperatures for Kansas this weekend through early next week. The middle of next week through the first weekend of fall, September 23rd through the 24th, Nebraska and Kansas temperatures are warmer than normal. Rainfall is mostly below normal for Nebraska and Kansas this weekend through early next week. Rainfall trending mostly near normal the middle of next week through September 24th. Key weather factors impacting the markets include mild weather for the Corn Belt and heavier rain in the U.S. Plains and southern Brazil. This week, temperatures typical of early autumn blanket much of the U.S. with lingering heat mostly confined to the far west and the deep south. A cold front currently stretching from the Great Lakes to the southern plains drifts to the east, reaching the Atlantic seaboard in the middle of the week. Rainfall with cold front should total an inch or less in most areas. Later in the week, low pressure emerges from the desert southwest before crossing the nation's midsection. That low helping to focus mid to late week rainfall across the four corners along with the central and southern plains by the weekend. For the central and southern plains, moderate to heavy rain amounts are possible, slowing down the maturing process for corn and soybeans, but increasing soil moisture for winter wheat planting and establishment towards the Midwest. Early harvest conditions continue to be favorable, but more rain is welcome for the immature crops. Dry weather prevails the next five days in much of the north central U.S. and the far west. The northern Atlantic coast monitors the progress of Hurricane Lee, which could approach coastal New England as early as Saturday. Southern Brazil had heavy rain over the weekend, and there could be more heavy rain for tomorrow through Thursday, which is favorable for the wheat, except where there's flooding. Heavy rain in southern Brazil could delay the remaining second crop corn harvest and planting, but it's mostly setting up good conditions as planting increases this month. Argentina rainfall is increasing earlier this week, easing the country out of last season's historic drought. Drier conditions follow next week, but Argentina is in good shape for developing wheat and any early corn planting. Europe was very hot and mostly dry this past weekend, accelerating crops towards maturity and causing favorable conditions for harvest. With the check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins.